Hello, this is Nathan from One Web Street, the right place to discover digital presence strategies for your business. In this video, we will be looking at the online platform Canva, and we will be looking at specifically how you can use Canva to make a Facebook page cover image. Um, so, uh, here we are in Canva, and if you have a Canva account, then this is going to be familiar with you as it, this is your dashboard. So once you're in your dashboard, you can come over here and click on the custom dimensions. So you want to enter the dimensions of the image uh, in pixels, and I already had done this, so um, the Facebook cover image is 820 by 340 pixels. So there's a drop down menu right here. So you want to make sure that pixel is selected and not millimeters or inches. So once these dimensions have been entered, then you click design. Okay, now following, you will be here in your design. And so this is where you can. Um, design the cover image for your business page or organization's page. Um, and so there's many different um, tabs to look at and many different functionalities uh, that you have available to you within Canva. So if you look here on the left hand side we have a few different tabs. Um, we have the search tab to look for existing images that are in the Canva database different layouts to use. So um, these are different layouts. If you wanna have like different images next to each other or something along those lines, then you could use these different layouts to achieve that. Um, they have elements. They have a variety of elements to choose from, either free photos, different photo grids, frames for the image, shapes, lines, um, other images in the form of illustrations, uh, charts, and icons. So there's a lot to look at here and um, you can also come across these by just searching right here in this search box. Um, the next tab is different text. So um, they have different font styles which you can choose from and then um, put your own text or alternatively you can just um, you know add your own heading. So for example if I chose add the heading here, then I could say this is an example. And um, the, what we can do with this is you can see that if when we move this around the image, there's these lines that appear, which are different grid lines. And so that can help you either center the text um, either from a horizontal or vertical perspective. And that's, that's a really helpful feature. Um, additionally, if we highlight the text, we can choose from a variety of different font styles. So if we want to, to choose that font, for example, then that changes um, you know, the font style. And if I highlight it all again, I can choose a different font size, maybe 56. Um, additionally, we can either center it or move it to the right, to the left. I want to keep it centered. Um, this is uh, to capitalize all of the letters. This is for bullets. Um, spacing, this is a helpful feature in which um, you can choose the letter spacing uh, for the letters and also the line height. So how, um, I guess the size between the different text. And then again, more layout options in terms of how the text appears on the uh, image. Okay, so that's the text, and there's many different um, fonts and colors to choose from. Also, if you're gonna choose the color, we have different you know, predefined color templates here. If you click on this box, then you can you know, choose from any of these. And if you're familiar with hex codes, then, and if you know of a hex code that you want, um, you can simply copy and paste that hex code right into here. Um, okay, and so there it is, for example. And then we also have backgrounds, so you can use either different background images, uh, sorry, not images, but um, styles or colors. So if we wanted to use this as an example, different color styles. They also have these um, free templates 
where there's um, you know different designs that you can use and they have many to choose from um, if that is appealing to you um, all right so let's go with um, let's go with the orange for now the last tab that we have to look at is the uploads tab and so here we can upload different images that we want to use um, and so one great example is your logo. And so we have the one Web Street logo here. And so once you've uploaded a custom image, um, notice that you can resize it. Um, there's also a rotation button so that I can rotate how the image is displayed. Um, and then I can just move it around. So, you know, for right now, let's just move it right here. Also, you see how those grid lines appear so that it's nice and, um, appears appears really nicely so that there's enough sp uh, spacing uh, in the image. All right, so, so that's what the Uploads tab does. So now I want to give an example of making a Facebook cover page that we could potentially use here at One Web Street. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, let's say that we'll start with maybe the background image so I'm gonna to go to background and I want to use the same color as our logo and so I have this really great Chrome plugin um, and so I'm just gonna hover over the logo and this is gonna give us what is called the hex code okay so I'm gonna copy that close it out and so you'll see what that does for us in a, minute, in a moment. So for example, if I go back to, uh, here I am in background, sorry. So I add uh, the plus icon and we have the color code right here. Okay, so this is the, the hex. So I'm going to paste that code. And now you can see that it's the same um, color as our logo, all right? And so that's not good because now all we can see is the one of our logo. So I'm just going to go back to um, have it as nothing, have it as white. All right. Um, but maybe I want the text. So I'm going to put um, the right place to discover digital marketing strategies. Strat uh, geez. All right, and so then I want the color to be the same as the text. So again, I'm gonna get rid of that and paste my code. All right, so it's the same as the logo here, and it's a little big, so I'm gonna make it smaller, maybe 42. Yeah, and I'm gonna put it right, have it nice and centered, and maybe I'm gonna center the our actual logo. All right, and then I'm going to change the font to, we use um, Lato, All right, and then I'm going to bold it. All right, and maybe, um, okay, so, you know, something like that. Um, but let's say that we want, we like this design, but maybe you want to try a different design and then see how they look against each other. So right here on the right, we have this really um, great feature where I can click on copy this image. And it basically makes a duplicate. All right, so now we have the same one twice. So now I can make changes to one of them without impacting the other and see what I like more. So for example, let's say um, I don't want it bolded, the text, all right? So now this is text that's bolded and this is not. Okay, let's may maybe let's look at a third variation. So I'm copying it again. All right, and um, let's cop. Uh, let's do that. Maybe let's look at what it would be I italicized. So now we have italicized, normal, and bold. All right, and now let's go look at a fourth variation. Um, so the, the you know the possibilities are are pretty endless in terms of you know <laughs> what it allows you to do in terms of. Um, you know, making changes and stuff. And then also, of course, seeing how those changes stack up against each other. So I'm just kind of, you know, playing around uh, with, with the images here and the different um, options and just kind of seeing what, what I like. Um, 
So I do like the italicized, the right place to discover digital marketing strategies. Um, let's see here, what else can we do here? So another thing we can look at is the elements tab, and I, I had uh, briefly mentioned that earlier. And so let's maybe look at lines. So they have these different lines that we could use. Um, there's nothing really looking like I want to uh, use that right now, but just as an example, you know, we have this, and I can change the uh, colors, and that's the same color as that we have as our logo and our text, All right? So maybe I don't want that, so I'm gonna X, that, X out of that. Go back to elements and see if there's anything else. If I click on the line, if on this tab again, then it goes back. Um, see if there's any icons maybe that I wanna use. Um, so we can scroll down here and just kind of view these different icons. Um, what about this check mark? So what if I check mark? Let's see what comes up here. So also notice that they have some of, some of their icons are going to cost money. So they have some where it says pro and then some that are a dollar. Um, if there's anything that's free, generally that will come up as, and it'll say it's free or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but nothing is coming up right now. So um, let's just say that this is our final, um, you know, our final copy. Now remember that when you, uh, you don't have to necessarily save the image because it's always saving on its own. But let's just say that um, we want to download it. All right, so I can now click on the download button here. So I'm gonna click download and we have several options. So the first one is we have different, um, two different uh, image types, which is either a JPEG or a PNG. And I'm not sure why Canva puts recommended next to PNG. Um, there is a difference. Uh, the difference is that a PNG file, this our logo is a PNG file. And what that means is that um, everything that is white is basically um, see-through. So for example, what does that mean? If I change the background color to orange, then you can see that the one, where the one would be the number one, is see-through and I can see that background image. Um, and so generally PNG files are larger in, in, in the size of the file, and, uh, but they're, they're really helpful when you want to have that transparency in the image. Um, but since this image is gonna be used as our Facebook cover image, we, don't need it to be transparent. And so we, we can use a JPEG file. Um, another really important thing to keep in mind is that JPEG files are generally smaller. And especially when doing web design work, um, and if you're using images for the web, especially for your website, you wanna to try to keep uh, the images as small as possible. So using JPEG images over P PNG images is going to help with that. So um, notice that this is also, we have the number one here. Remember we have these different variations that we made, one, two, three, four, five, um, or so on and so forth. So we just wanna download one. So I'm gonna go to download, JPEG, and we can choose which ones we want. We want just the first image, okay? So I'm gonna download that. It is downloading. Okay, I'm gonna cross this out. And so now, uh, here it is appearing, and here is sorry, here is our image right here. And so now we would be able to upload that to Facebook. All right, so now that we're here on our Facebook page, um, if we just hover over the cover image, we can, and where it says change cover, we can click on that, and I can click on upload photo. So here, if I go to date added, okay, here we are, here's that image that we just made. So if I click open, then um, I'm not gonna click save, but you can see how the image is perfectly aligned um, because of the pixel size that we used um, before uh, deciding on what image we were gonna make. All right, so that is how you make a Facebook page cover image. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful and be sure to check One Web Street for more tutorials and videos on how to elevate your online web presence. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much.